also has the old dresser hey, and the five. Hello, uh, welcome to Failing to Read the News, episode 17. <sighs> hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. We have Tom of Gold City, we have Green Thunder, and we have Evil Dead. Hello, guys. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to Shit Show. Like the show <laughs> so that it gets more people watching. Share the shit out of this, people. Yes, please. Yes. Share, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Or I would tell Scotsman to take his shirt off on the stream. <laughs> Don't think no I won't. No one ever wants to see that, trust me. <laughs> I want to see it. Hello, Math Queen. Hello, Math Queen. Yeah, I swear no, to God. You relate as well, so fuck you. If we can get money in his stream labs, labs, I'm sure he will take off his shirt just for the fun of it. Guys, come on. Donate to stream labs. $100, $100, and I'll do it, yeah. That's a little high. No, hundred dollars. <laughs> you get to see Scottish tits. Hundred dollars. If I gotta shave my beard off, I was gonna say if I gotta if if I gotta take two hundred dollars to shave my beard off, you can take a hundred bucks to uh, take your shirt off. <clears throat> you gotta get Cult of Krill in here for that. <laughs> he's been here. He's, he's been here before. I don't know where the fuck he is. <clears throat> anyway, schoolgirls' crafty sick day attempts bad fires. I'll be using permanent markers to draw on chicken pox. <laughs> That's something I would do. The problem is she used blue. Oh. It wasn't blue, it was red. It was just red. <laughs> you're, you're trying to fuck, you're, you're trying to just annoy blind girl and you use. I was going to say, I would not use blue marker. I would be smart enough to use red, but yeah. <laughs> oh, but you wouldn't because you're blind, so. Oh, fair enough. A little rascal, Willie Schooley, six had some of her friends taking day off from chicken pox, so she decided to try her luck. The crafty schoolgirl's sick day attempt backfired when she stained head to toe red blotches for four days after drawing on permanent chicken pox and permanent marker. <laughs> Silly little girl. Well, at least she died. Give her that. Thank you. Uh, Same school, kids. <clears throat> I'll give a quid to Bob Haggis along with those man boobs, Scully. <laughs> they even have Haggis, and Haggis costs more than a pound, so no. Hundred pound if you want that. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll take the stream down after it, but still, hundred pound mm -hmm. if you want. <clears throat> Little rascal, little school, they had noticed some of our friends taking days off because the chicken box and tried to tie a lock. So after the tying day of school last week, she borrowed a permanent marker <coughs> to do her homework. And then ran downstairs complaining of her ass 10 minutes later. <coughs> <coughs> Mum of two, Charlotte Schooley, 34, and husband David turned on the lights to check in as soon as <coughs> and soon they were struggling. They were struggling because of laughter. After being told she needs to go to the doctors by Fig Quick and Charlotte, <clears throat> Lily ran upstairs trying to rub her spots off in a bit to make a miraculous recovery. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the sort of thing I would have done when I was a kid. Yeah, I totally yeah. would have done that too. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I may have tried with my mother's fingernail polish. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Stank, man. Yeah, but she was soon forced to come clean when permanent marker wouldn't wipe off and even her own mum's attempts to, with bobbity wash, so baby oil and insulin hairspray wouldn't shift them. <clears throat> Said mortified Lily wasn't trying to convince her pals she was infectious. <clears throat> When she tried to for, and she was forced to wear shorts and t-shirt in PE the next day, revealing <laughs> prominent red spots. <laughs> oh, stupid girl! <laughs> Oof, you're a hard bargainer. To be honest, I'd pay a hundred pounds to see that. Do that, but I'm a bloke. <laughs> okay, Tom. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, but that just that is the sort of thing I is a slight like, totally <laughs> redundant. Proper oh, backfired, didn't it? <laughs> oh. oh bless her. But how you know, how good is that permanent marker though if um if it, they had such a hard time getting rid of the uh, marks? Is it industrial strength? Oh you're broke, oh yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, my, my dyslexia read that wrong. That's what happened there. <laughs> that was you and my dyslexia, not you, Tom. Come on, Charlotte from Moss Hill. Cornwall's in. Moss Hill. Did you just Austell. say Moss Hill Cornwall? I said Austell. 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 That's St. Austell. Oh. Yes, St. Austell. I was going to say we have a Cornwall. Yeah. So do we, and St. Austell is a part of it. No, we usually call it Cornhole for a reason. <laughs> the house is always full of laughter with Lily. She is very witty. She had, she had a spelling test the next day and didn't know what to do. <laughs> a few of the children in school had come down with chicken pox. And she's had it before. So she knows she didn't... So she knows she stayed off school for a while. Came down and said, I need a red pen, mummy. I need to do homework. <laughs> Wait, hang, on. hang on, hang on. She asked her mum for a red pen and her mum gave her a fucking Sharpie to do her homework with. <laughs> yeah. Fucking idiot. I thought Sharpies could be washed off. Yeah, but it was a permanent marker. Yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Sharpies are permanent markers. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can, I think it was washed off eventually. It just stays there for a while, though. Hmm. Do you want to be doing that again? Yeah, exactly. I think that's why the mum done it. So I thought we'll just embarrass her. <laughs> Evil comes. <clears throat> Hello, honey monster. Hello, honey monster. Have a wrench. Glad to see you here. Uh, uh, she came down to the. And she came down 10 minutes later, shrugging her arm and said, oh, mummy, I'm feeling a bit itchy. I think I've got a rash. Turned the light on and she was absolutely covered in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was thorough, I guess. Did she? All right. Did she what? Did, um, did this little girl not think, oh, this red pen mummy's given her, she might know. I don't think children think that far ahead. No, yeah, she, I don't think she thought that far ahead. <laughs> oh, bless. I don't think kids are that smart. <laughs> Me and my husband were aching with laughter, trying not to, trying not to let it on that we knew. Here's a thought, though. Why didn't she write the words she was supposed to spell on her body instead of that? <laughs> what? Why did she write the words that she was supposed to spell for this test on her body? Because she's six. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Just copy them all down onto your arms. <laughs> yeah, crayons are safer for some people. And yeah, Rowan says kids are retarded, so yeah. <laughs> yes, they are, Rowan, you child. Rowan! And yes, this is a rest of the I asked what was the matter, and she said, I think I've got chicken pox, I can't go to school. <laughs> she had been sat on the bathroom floor drawing dots on herself. <laughs> I don't think, I mean, you should, uh, 10 minutes, didn't you say? Oh, bless. <laughs> No pranks, I thought she'd got away with pulling a sickie until mum and dad suggested she'd have to go to the doctors. <laughs> all right, all right. At no point in this article has it said the parents cottoned on straight away what had happened. They did. Well, no. They just didn't listen. No, they, they, they... they got up earlier. It said, my husband were aching with laughter, trying not to let on that we knew. Oh, right, right. Um, you clearly just didn't listen. I, I must have just missed that, that's all. I think the Britishism is just running off on you. Hey, uh, I'm paying attention. 
You know, half the time you don't know. What? <laughs> <It's> exactly. <laughs> And Rowan, no, I'm not a fucking boomer. <laughs> Don't make it sound like it, neither am I, damn it. Yeah. You're 18, Rowan, so you're legal then. Well, hi there. Just, just because I am technically actually old enough to be your dad. <laughs> He's in Dundee, so yeah, I think you are, actually. <laughs> Is this what you want to tell me, babe? I've never been to Dundee. <laughs> you don't want to go to Dundee. <laughs> Hey, Rowan, I fucked your mum. I love... Hello. Oh, I'll grow up to your robot. Hello, Alamo. Sorry. I love when I hear, technically, I'm old enough to be your dad by somebody who I'm technically old enough to be his dad. <laughs> I was like, Trucker, you're about the same age as my dad. Thanks, Peter. Um, you're not Scotsman, though. Uh, you're not Trucker, though, unless you were 10. Trucker, you're about the same age as my dad. But there's a thing... Uh, yeah, I know. That, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. And I have a two-year-old son. What the hell? <coughs> now, sometimes people have kids later on in life than others. That's yeah. what happens. Yeah, well, that. well, I will, I will say one for, the, uh, one for the lack of trying. Yeah, well, you finally got what you wanted, so... You... Well, I was getting what I wanted all along. Just the kid was a side effect of it. <laughs> oh, you poor son. <laughs> oh, so you're back in Aberdeen, sir, now. Yeah. I said a slightly better, that's a slight improvement on Dundee. I can say that because I live in Aberdeenshire. And he's, he'll hunt you down, Rowan. Right, he'll hunt you down. By Aberdeen, <laughs> no, he'll be miles away. Down in New Orleans. <laughs> I see, yeah, because it's the holidays, that'll be why, yeah. Makes sense. But, but she rushed upstairs to watch the spots off and realised she, she had used a permanent marker. <laughs> Bless. Oh, Honey Monster's also an Aberdeen show. Fair enough. Well, I said she was deadly serious about it until... We said, oh, gosh, it's come on too quickly in 10 minutes. We're going to have to see the doctor. She quickly disappeared, run up the stairs, and tried to run them off, rob them off of a flannel. I can't go to school, mummy, because everyone will laugh. I had to send her with a letter to say, saying they weren't contagious or real. And we couldn't just get them off. Yeah, we used baby wash soap, hot water, baby oil, alcohol wipes. I think hairspray in the end finally got off after four days. <laughs> anyway, after that, she won't be doing that again. <laughs> I think she'll have learned her lesson. Just break that picture up again. Oh, Bear with the why? copy. This is what I done used. Yeah. <laughs> Compo face. <laughs> yeah, burn them off with burn them off with cigarettes, wasn't it? <laughs> it's grim, isn't it? Honey monster, I mean. Oh, they are Cornish. <laughs> no, I think he's English. Yeah, oh, Cornwall. Actually, some people don't think Cornwall is in England. Yeah, Cornwall is in England. It's in the. It's no, in no, the... So some people don't know. Some people think Cornwall is its own country within the UK. Seems There's like Cornwall it. in Canada, so you know. Yeah, there's also a Banff as well, I realised. You saw, you saw a lot of our names. Yes, we did. We kind of used to Cornwall. be part of Britain, you know? I'm yeah. used to Cornwall being what happens just before a farmer comes and harvests it. Yeah, Cornhole. <laughs> no, Cornwall. <clears throat> Not Cornhole. They act like Cornholes, too. So. Cornhole. I was going to say, cornhole's a game. Get your mind out of the damn gutter. <laughs> <laughs> this is rich coming from a trucker. I know, isn't it? <laughs> oh, crappy <laughs> slices right. is old enough to be all your dogs. <laughs> yeah, apparently they have a wall in Cornwall to keep the sauce from getting in. Yeah, I don't blame them. 
<laughs> and yes, yeah, Sergeant Slayer, you are old enough to be my dad. Hey, she'll be old enough to be my grandfather then. But, Probably not a good thing. No, that wouldn't be a good thing. He's dead. So yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, Jamaica was part of the British Empire. So it was a lot of the other Caribbean, and so was the whole of Ireland and India and South Africa and a lot of other places. Everyone was looking at her like she was contagious. <laughs> we had to tell everyone she wasn't. Yeah, I think this is repeating itself, to be honest. Yeah, just ho yeah, just hoping the retard isn't catching. <laughs> daily record, can I full article? Hello, cryptic. Hello, cryptic. Hello, cryptic. Kind of reminds me of one of the times I was in school, and I had chicken pox show up during school. Thing is, by the parent, by the time my parents came to pick me up, me and my friends had taken a marker and played connect the dots. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't a permanent marker, was it? No, no, no. No, but the teacher was pissed because it was the same one he used to mark on the chalkboard or the whiteboard. Hello, Green Thunder. <laughs> no, corn was planted last year, this year. I think it's what? I think it's soybean. That's state by, that's state, by state, Thunder. <sighs> actually, that's farmer, that's farmer by farmer, actually, depending on which one they are in their rotation. <laughs> wow, that was loud. Hello, lovely people and British folks. Cryptic, does that include me as well, though? <laughs> this is my shame when you're not saying I'm lovely. <laughs> Fucking Asian. <laughs> anyway, terrified boys piled with vodka and item brew before sex attack by pervert and working ice cream van. Oh, so it does include me. Well, fuck you, Cryptic. Wasn't there a drug war to do with uh, my screen vans in, America, in uh, Scotland about in the 1980s? Uh, there might have been. I yeah, because be uh, the people were trying to sell drugs from these um, ice cream vans, and uh, there was an ice cream van war. Yeah, I think they're still doing it. Yeah, they probably are. And I remember. I remember the ice cream van selling fives, but I don't remember the ice cream van selling drugs. I think the ice cream van might still sell fives, actually. It's your ice cream. And your cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. And your crack. Yeah, the ice cream wars was a turf war in the east end of Glasgow in Scotland in the 1980s between rival criminal organisations selling drugs and stolen goods from ice cream vans. See, I do know history. That's a bit game ago, Math Queen says hi to you. Hi, Math Queen! Sorry, I can't see the, Okay, now I can see the chat. Hi! Ding a ling. Get trailing. Ding a ling, motherfucker. Rowan, I think that was more of an expectation, to be honest. If you're talking about what real yeah. vanilla beans smells like, I know exactly what it smells like. Vanilla. <laughs> Does anyone remember what vanilla smells like? <coughs> yeah, vanilla. I do. Yeah, exactly. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> Serial pedophile. Um, William McGill was brought to justice after years of justice years after he abused the lads in West Lothian. So this one wasn't in Glasgow. It was near. It was in the Edinburgh sort of area. Convicted pedophile was made sexually abused in two boys while he was working at ice cream van. Uh, Glasgow High Court heard. heard Yesterday, that William McGill, 57, committed the offences at an address in Adamwell, West Lothian, between August 2001 and December 2002. Got some of you were muffling a bit there, hun. That's just my accent. No, you were literally muffling. Oh, yeah, you, you, your audio just like drops. It sounded like you were talking under your bed covers. <laughs> Maybe you did. Well, I've had a few drinks. That might be why. <laughs> Got some drunk. Who would have thought? I'm not drunk. I'm just saying I had a few. Oh. I've had about six. He's just lubricated. <laughs> I've had six. What? Yes, lubricated. Yeah, six. I've had a few. 
Uh, prosecutor David Taylor said the complainer who was 14 was given a very strong, was given three very strong vodkas and iron brew. I'm giving them a better drink. That's fucking so Scottish. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it is. Fuck Red Iron Brew. Vodka and Iron Brew is disgusting as well. Iron Brew on itself is nice, but vodka with Iron Brew is disgusting. Hmm. Ain't that no, isn't that any wonder that that explains your reaction when I told you the only time I've ever tried an Iron Brew is when somebody brought it over to me and we spiked it before we drank it. Hmm. Yeah, see, you should have drunk it properly the way it's supposed to be. Maybe. There's one thing you Americans do yeah. that I don't understand. You it drink really warm is... cider. Oh, yeah. We do what now? We drink warm cider. Yeah, what's warm the problem? Warm cider? Well, to be fed, Britt, you drink, you drink warm lager. Okay, it's usually lager that's left over from the night before. Shut the fuck up. I told yeah, you to tell anyone that. Yeah, they, they have I don't waste down. alcohol, thank you. What do you mean the camera you have to, you have to throw before you went to bed? <laughs> if it's alcoholic cider, it's got to be cold. If it's not alcoholic cider, you know, I'll drink it. If it's not alcoholic it's cider, what's the fucking point? Well, apparently GVP game is coming back. Uh-huh. Hopefully they kick you off it, Robin. Well, if they do seven days to die, I'm, I may join. It's <laughs> fucking annoying because they'll seem over me then. Fucking cunts. <laughs> what on a Sunday? Yeah, I do seems on Sunday as well. Anyway, news. Uh, I read the chat as well. Uh, no, to be truly Scottish, you would have given them whiskey and item brew. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Ew. <clears throat> I respect blind girl. It goes down faster than warp. Mm, I guess it does. I oh, see, yeah, I missed the end of GPP because I have to go on Blind Girl Street. Yeah. Oh, fucking Minecraft, how gay is that? That means I can join them. Please tell me you are joking. No, I'm not. I've, I've told you I've got Minecraft. No, I'm I about GPP Minecraft. doing Minecraft. That'd be fucking Yeah, I think hilarious. they are, actually. Oh, that'd be fucking no, they said No, they said they were going to do it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny, but Minecraft is normally for spurgs. Yeah, that's why uh, <laughs> Bear plays it. Well, actually, to be fair, Bear Dunkle and Sinatra, they're kind of spurgy, aren't they? So. <laughs> Put those fours away, dear. They don't suit you. Uh, what? I says, Put those claws away, they don't suit you. Uh, you'd be mistaken, I'm always a dick. <laughs> <clears throat> The court heard the teenager was sexually abused by McGill during the abuse. The boy laid frozen and terrified. Eat the gas. Eat the gas. <clears throat> Fuck this guy. And McGill's second victim was around 12 or 14 when he was given three or four triple vodkas in a sec before being sexually abused. Great. <clears throat> Kill this motherfucker. Yeah, that's why I said Gia Gas, give him a nice Jewish shower. Disavow. <clears throat> First Amendment, but still disavow. Uh, I'm okay with it. <laughs> I thought it was yeah. funny. Yeah, I think, one, yeah, I think you're fine as long as you don't misgender anybody. You should be okay. But I mean, <laughs> even if it wasn't, I, that was still funny. Okay, dude, I totally commend the Jewish shower on that guy. Exactly. Anybody has a problem with that? Fuck you. See, I was thinking, I was thinking of borrow the amphibious assault wood chipper. I think a rope because you can always reuse a rope. Gas costs money, and they're not worth it. Mm. Eh, I don't have to pay utilities. I'm fine. Or a sword, or an axe. No, nah, sword and axe would be too quick. Yeah, exactly. You gotta play with it before it dies, you know? <laughs> you say this bitch loving it. Yeah, if I could purr, I would. Yeah, where's Chloe? You can't you get on your girlfriend because I can. <laughs> you can't purr, blind girl, but you can make very creepy voices. Don't. Daddy, tell me a story. Oh, 
Proper <laughs> shit. Well. Oh. I think you're also ever. saying this about it unless you really fucking mean it. Well, we don't want to get arrested. Although I think I'm probably way past that point of this. Yeah, there you go. You'll be fine. Blind girl. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We're going to come and play forever and ever and ever. Damn straight. What? You don't sound creepy, you just sound retarded. Even yeah. <laughs> yeah, she tried to say boy girl and it's not working. I'd be like, hey, Brad, I want to come play forever and ever and ever. Okay, with me. Okay, you fucking weird. Boy girl, I can't make up my mind whether that's cute or fucking weird. Or creepy <laughs> as fuck. Whereas, like, it's creepy. Brad, that just sound retarded. <laughs> It's Don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can never do it. You know, you 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 got a talent girl. Talent, no one wants. Well, that's <laughs> Work the many Halloween parties, okay? It was a. <laughs> Hello, I'm a serious unknown box. Hey, bye, boy. Never. At the point, the terrified boy pleaded, please don't, when Miguel said, please don't, but he ignored him and carried on with the abuse. <sighs> anyway, fuck this guy. He's a scumbag. Exactly. Get... He's not even worth a creepy voice. You scared him away. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh. Is guy gone? Scottish internet, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I got this. I got this. So this uh, Florida man uh, was in prison, and then he got out of prison, and not five minutes after he was out of prison, he searched the prison parking lot and stole from a bunch of cars and got arrested again. <laughs> I'm not there surprised. Go. I got you. <laughs> no problem. You know what? That guy was such a creep, it broke your computer. <laughs> oh, I think yeah. it was your voice that broke the computer, sweetheart. Oh, fair enough. I'm not paying for it. There must be a reason why your mic always fucks up. Too. <sighs> you shouldn't need notification because Scotland will ping you in every Discord and server in existence. Well, you got to get the stream out there. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking else is gonna do it, so I may as well do it. Christ, dude. What the, no drinking? what the fuck? A pigeon poo covered house. <laughs> in fuck knows sell in not foreign but still can't pronounce sells for hundred K. See that's just ugh. That's why wow. girl take it for blind girl take it looks like it's full of dust and shit. Roof's half gone, the windows have clearly been smashed. Ball's blue, but there's bits of wallpaper ripped off. The, the furniture's all mouldy. There's bird shit all over the bed, all over the floor. Must be in Quebec. Quebec. <laughs> it's not, I think it's in England somewhere. It's, 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 in, it's in Devon. No. Oh. Well, it could have passed for a Quebec house. It might be haunted. Probably is haunted. Or what, past pigeons? No, you don't... I see Aberdeen probably does still, does still use diet, but I'm in Aberdeen. I live near Aberdeen. So. No, it's not in Wales, it's in Devon. That's what you mean, because you said walls, I assume you mean Wales. And remember, Devon is a place on Earth. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's in England. Oh, that's worse. Mm. That is yes. what means cricket. Where the fuck is Drunk Owen? I need him. Yeah. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck, for being the only person smart enough to get that. Oh, oh I got send... it. You're welcome. Oh, well, you can send Drunk with the link if you want. I don't know. Come on. Well, yeah, it's during the day. He's probably doing stuff, I guess. I don't know. Oh, it's 10 or at doing night. someone. I'll ask he's that. at the 10.30 at night. He's at the pub. I asked <laughs> yeah. him. I... I already asked Ben if he wanted to come on this stream. He said no. He didn't say no. He actually didn't say anything. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good enough, as no. Bloodwing said he would, though. 
I was what yeah, I was watching Bloodwing stream when you asked that. Yeah, he didn't say no. Actually, I hate to say it, I kind of slipped him the link to try to surprise you, and he had he had just taken a pain pill, was getting ready to sack out. Hey, what bear? Oh, Bloodwing. Yeah, but he said he's he might he might actually shoot for Tuesday. Oh, that's good then. That's, that's what I said anyway. That's, that's, that's what I was going to have him on anyway, the Tuesday. Yeah. No. But you get I the fuck you were. No, you just don't ask, you don't get. Simple as that. I might I might be a little bit late to Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> it's fine. We're, um, that's when me and Foxy are doing our Wednesday stream. We're moving oh, it to Tuesday this week. I love wine bread. That means... That means Peter's going to show up 10 minutes before the stream's over. <laughs> you can say Blind Press, I think, but there's a come on. Uh, okay. Blind Press, I got a link coming towards you if you're interested. Oh, never mind. Trust the guy. All right. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> never follow me back, so. Four bedroom house covered in pitch and shit. <laughs> over 100,000 grand. Similar to Taz Property and Devin has views of Bristol Channel. The top floors are caked in poo. That is one foot. <laughs> High in some places. Stream. Yeah, we've we'll got a game before Ghost Food gets to it. I'll get when it ad libs. Father and son knew a John and Guy Jones. You had like some guy that had shit in bags, and now you've got kitchen shit everywhere. You're just doing the shit stream. Well, yeah. I'm not surprised, really. <laughs> <laughs> I paid more than double the 45 grand asking price for the English house. Probably thought it was a work of art or something. Well, Peter, you're English, surely you can pronounce that. <laughs> right. Ifracum. Ilfracum. Yeah, Ilfracum. Definitely I just wish less people had seen it, Mr. Jones. Said, I could have got it a lot cheaper. Well, why did you buy it then? Well, I will you say it's it. got a pretty view. <laughs> the, the house gets burned down first thing, but it's got a pretty view. Yeah, it's got a nice view, but when you look inside the house, you just get a view of pigeon shit. <laughs> well, that's what, that's what the fire is for. Cleanse it with fire. Just stick a cat in there, it'll be fine. Hello, Blind Press. Hello. Hello. Did I, did I not follow you back, Justin? No, you didn't. Well, that was an asshole thing of me not to do. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Nor me, I think, actually. No, I thought I followed you back on the other day. I will it's have not her fault you can't see who she's following. Yeah. I will have to go back and check. Right. I'm gonna just a small video. over, just a small oversight. Do you mean Discord or Twitter? <laughs> I mean Twitter. Uh, yeah. I know I've got you on Discord. Right. Yeah. You, yeah. Um. I. I, I meant Twitter. <laughs> um. But I do. You know, I think I followed you back on Twitter too. But I could be wrong. I am mostly always wrong. I was going to say, in this case, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, I, I, I was going to say, I think it took like a month of uh, telling Briss, follow me back, or telling Press, follow me back, follow me back, before she actually did it. So. I know, I'm terrible. I got a press right away, man. So, you know, blind <laughs> privilege. Hashtag. Yeah, I, I got it right away on my last Twitter, but it never happened on this one for some bizarre reason. Well, that. I think what it I think what it is, is is she just going in order of distance away from her then? So that was obviously, you know, blind girl first, then me, and then we gotta figure out who's the next closest. Hashtag my blind privilege, guys. I think that would be uh Peter. It's not me, would it not? Or actually I, I yeah. Because Scotland's like on the same latitude as like fucking where the fucking Eskimos live in Canada, basically. We don't have Esco Eskimos anymore, dude. Yes, you do. You know. No, we got Inuit. Disavow. Yeah, so es 
Eskimos, yeah. God, Jesus Christ. Same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Not to them. I'm gonna fuck them. They probably fuck themselves. Dude. Oh, too cool. Lord. Oh, no, they're white, are they not? That's fair game. Uh, no, they're not white, actually. They're more tanned or red. <laughs> no. Depending on which country you live in, and you're allowed to say that. Can you imagine that coming back to the baby? Look, I gave birth to an Eskimo. <laughs> yeah, we haven't called them Eskimos in years. Yeah, Mark Green, it literally is a shithole. <laughs> That's a li yeah, a little shit at home. <laughs> yeah, press. Just be glad that you can't see this. Yeah, she's muted herself. Huh. Uh, Lee Russell, director of state agents Weber, said the project was not for the faint-hearted, but the local <laughs> pair took the pun property. Who were both property adventurers said they fancied the challenge. Well, good luck. Food. Just stuff a bunch of dogs in there. They'll get the job done. Wait, what? Yeah, but then it'll smell like dog shit. It's an egg smoker and egg hamster. I don't know, probably. Why are we so <laughs> well, like well, I figure if there's a bunch of bird poop in there, just stick a dog in there. They eat everything, so you know. <sighs> uh, ew. So, yeah, these <laughs> people are right, hang on, hang on. Bring uh, Logan, go to the living room. Mummy is cooking. Bring, bring that picture back up with the uh, two guys on it, then. Just you're gonna look at the the dumb shits that are gonna be cleaning up shit. Why does it matter? I mean, they look like the worst. They look like the worst remake of Tony Talking Horses ever. <laughs> no, they do kind of, yeah. <laughs> There's a guy on the the guy on the left strikes me as looking like Robert Unglund for some reason. Wow. Actually, yeah, I can see that. Actually, yeah, that does kind of look like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Freddy's here. Anyway. I'm one of the only fools and horses, yeah, that does gonna look like Del Boy and Rodney. Yeah. <laughs> like tall guy and short guy and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit the bed, I'm not I think the alcohol's starting to kick in, lads. This is gonna be a Drop floor, hilarious moment, clumsy crook, Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. Someone's not happy. No, he he accidentally got his finger in the folding closet door. Ah, there's disturbance in the force. You need some help, huh? Yeah. Got it. Uh, is that Logan or Alex? Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Logan's the one whose finger got stuck, and Alex is the one going, Mommy, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm so glad my day with children are over. Oh, Jesus. Hey. Uh, Shot forward. The latest moment, Stop. clumsily quick raiding mobile phone shot pools, all displayed down on top of himself. And the video is going to be. The video will be choppy. We'll see if it loads anywhere. Good luck. Unload. You know, it's not going to be out of hand. It falls. Dumb cunts. Yeah, he deserved it. It was unfold. A clumsy thief can pull the mobile phone. Sorry, they, they were. They oh, were right. fighting. I didn't want you guys to hear the screaming. <laughs> It's fine. It, it gets rather shrill. <laughs> I dare you use that word. You're supposed to be a feminist. <laughs> it is wow. shrill a bad word now? Apparently, according to feminists. Huh. I, need, right, I need to go blood ring, actually. Okay. <laughs> now I've got the full Tenorsi song going through my head. How can you tell what song that is? She's not even singing a tune. 
Exactly. Peter, I just tried. Just going, da, 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 da. For the interest of continuity, Peter, I just put two in the group DM on Twitter. Dude. Yay! Especially the first one I just sent, especially considering something we covered last night on Blind Girl Stream, it might be interesting. Yeah. It's okay, dude. It's in the washing machine. Relax. Not the end of the world. So the history of the house, Hipple. They like to uh, eat peanut butter toast and sleep in soft, warm cotton pads. House Wait, hippos, people. Pads. Real. I don't know. Cotton pads and other stuff. Ooh, lint. Uh, I'm just making <laughs> shit up. <laughs> just like You're any right, journalist. I'm so proud. Yeah, the house hippo, you know? They like peanut butter on toast. They like to hide in weird places. And they're really small. You might step on them. The house hippo. They're real, folks. Mm -hmm. That is a really long piece, Gotsman. Holy shit. Like, damn, it's like the never-ending piss. It's like Austin Powers, man. <laughs> Scotsman's pee. Isn't that how all guys pee, though? I don't know, man. In my experience, guys take less time to pee than girls, usually, so, you know, just saying. <laughs> Good hey, guys. Uh, there we go, that we can solve it. <coughs> I am back, sorry about that. I was just educating your audience for about the house hippo. House hippo? House hippo. Yeah, yeah it's a house hippo. He's making okay. up shit. <sighs> well, I think, I think we can already establish that. Anyway. <laughs> A clumsy thief who tried to pull down a mobile phone display on, on top of himself was being hunted by cops. CCTV shows a man breaking into a shop in Westland, Michigan, and running across the display standing. The display stands housing mobile phones. After a few attempts to yank one of them phones off, a secure mounting, using the security card, the whole display comes down on top of him. <laughs> That's awesome. Please tell me he got buried there for the whole night and they found him there in the morning. No, he didn't. I think I, there's a video and you see it fell on him and then he just ran off. He just ran off of it. Aww. Yeah, that would have been funnier though. Have <laughs> you seen. Oh, sorry. There's, on you go. There's. um. There's a video, I, I can't remember where I uh, watched it, but it was like a YouTuber who covers, oh, Donut, I think, Donut Operator, um, showed a security video of this dude breaking into a mobile phone store and then realizing that he was locked in and he starts begging this like he you he's like looking at the security like or no that's not what yeah the the people the people there realized he was robbing the place they quietly evacuated and locked him in and there's video of him when he realizes that he's locked in he starts begging and crying oh yeah like, i don't want to go back to jail oh i think that was in ghost oh that was in ghost i think yeah a few weeks ago <laughs> funny as hell <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, Logan, dude. Whoa! You trying to make me death. What? Lucas does the same thing. I guess it's a little child thing. Yes, it is. That would be a child singing a <clears throat> song with their people. The mock suspect then flees the store before he is seen making off with several phones after the turning. Westland Police say the burglary occurred on the 4th of March at 10.40 p.m. <clears throat> and just released a video in a bit to try and cast the suspect. He's described as a black male with pointed black facial hair on his chin. The four said in the statement. <clears throat> that is a person of color, sir. 
It's ma'am. <laughs> it's a man. Hey, why are you people disown vowel vowels? What do you mean cryptic? <clears throat> then again, I know Asians have difficulty pronouncing letters properly. Then I can sort of like. I'm gonna shut up now. Before I get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Superman. <laughs> it's Superman. He's nowhere safe. Map of lawless London. Night murders this year. Plays <clears throat> Derek Arnold in capitals. Until thugs can strike anywhere. One constipated the most rise areas of the capital. The night climate pandemic has crept across London. <clears throat> Killing map of the brutal. Night murders this year reveals that no one is safe in lawless London. As bloodshed plays the capital. The toll continues to rise, with 21 people stabbed to death already in 2019. The police losing control of the streets. Yeah, that's where they all are. What's the truth concentrating in central London, though? I'm going to say something now, and I'm going to get disavowed, disavowed for it. But I no. bet you can guess what I'm about to say. Yes, and probably don't. Well, I mean, they have too many cops arresting YouTubers. Yeah. I was going to say, is it a highly, um, I don't put this, different cultured area? I think mean, I still this is I think I'm still going to disavow that, by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to be politically retarded. If you want to be politically retarded, just say differently weighted person of size. <laughs> yeah, these are all the people that press F for these people. Don't give a big F for them. Press F. Is that to say fuck them or poor people? That's to say press F for respect. Yeah, press F to pay respects. It's um, mean from a modern warfare game isn't it there's actually in one of the modern warfare games where you're at a military funeral and you get the command up on screen press f to pay respects interesting yeah do you not know that mean no you don't know the internet and you don't know the press f many, mean i don't really know very many moves there scotty you know i'm just saying that you're on the internet and you don't know the press f thing. well no because it was probably writing on a picture that i didn't see <clears throat> Oh, but still, you would have seen it before if you were in any chat anywhere on the internet. Yeah. I just thought you were saying F is just a random freaking letter. To be I... to be perfectly honest, and it's probably a little bit um, hypocritical of me to um, point this out now, but it is slightly, slightly possibly disrespectful to use a mean to pay respect to people who actually died. <laughs> Yeah, probably. I should do a meme stream and teach blind girl about memes. Water? I know. Hey, meme. Just don't open your eyes, Scotty. I'll learn on my own. Press, press. I only said it was hypocritical because I did it as well. Well, Jay, at least you can like recognize your own hypocrisy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I can't meme. You're blind. I see. I think you posted one meme, I believe. Yeah, but I, I like, I knew that meme before it. It came up on my uh, previously posted on Facebook thing, so I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember this. It's cute." And I sent it. Unfortunately, the blind, like the left, can't meme. Mm. And also, I'm pretty sure that you actually posted a. You actually posted a meme in my Discord once. Yeah, it was one that I remember in my previous life. Scotsman, Scotsman, she thought it was a selfie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It was totally a selfie. Oh, dear God. Words on it. Selfies <laughs> should have words on them. If you are wearing a t shirt. It's called Snapchat. Here. Yeah. Here. Oh, fuck Snapchat. Here's your water. That's porn. Yeah, Snapchat Don't shit. close my fingers in the cupboard. Here. Thank Headlines you. came out every day about innocent people staying, <laughs> staying in the street. Oh, fine. As even the most hardened Londoners feel, 
So <laughs> you're leaving the homes out to the dark. Some online can reveal North London is the most dangerous of the capitals. Seven murders taking place in 2019. Well, this article isn't very politically correct because remember, women shouldn't have to protect themselves when they're on the street. Men should just learn not to rape. Oh, stabby, stabby. Stab yeah. You know, men don't know not to do that. Yeah, obviously yeah. we need to be told not to do that, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we're, we're evil. We totally need to be told not to rape people. Exactly. You guys are just inferior intellectually, you know. You, you, need, these, you need these things pointed out to you. Even though technically we're better, you know, technically we're better than women in just about every single capacity, but yeah. Why are you? I didn't know you guys can give birth or have periods, but we can. That's amazing. I just I said just about every capacity. Oh. <laughs> I'm right. sorry, that was a really feminist thing to say. Yeah, That's okay. I love fishing, guy. That's a, bit, that, that's a big game, really. Here, have a bear paw. Please stop screaming uh, at me. Oh, Howard Mott shows nowhere has, has managed to escape the gruesome murders, despite MPs repeatedly promising a thing as scrounge on knife crime. Well, you haven't done it, have you? <clears throat> Everyone's more worried about Brexit and other people, you know, like their own, their own country. So I'm giving up pretty much covering politics on this channel because it's all Brexit and I'm bored of that, to be honest now. I know, no, but yeah. what I'm saying is because the, like, the, the issue of Brexit is like the big issue at the moment, these kind of things yeah. are pushed aside. That's yeah, so what I'm like, saying. That I'm saying like I'm pretty much giving up on covering politics on this channel because it's, it's just all Brexit now. I'm yeah, no, I'm pissed off repeating at Repeating the same fucking shit all the time, so I don't, don't do it anymore. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, fuck it, I'll, I'll find other stories. I mean, I've always leave. I want to leave. I just fucking fed up with the whole thing. I don't blame you. Have there been any more pointless Brexit scares? You know, like... Um, if yes, we I have. Do, I'll get on to that after this one. If, okay. if we leave the EU, we're going to run out of orange paint or something. <laughs> there is actually, there is actually <laughs> I'll get on to after this one. Okay. Right, fuck it, I'll do it now since you mentioned it. Oh, God, not the orange paint. Wait, where is it? Come here somewhere. This is a very professional stream, folks. Oh, yeah. Yep. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, He's so good. Want to do it? <laughs> EU, issues. EU issues. No deal, no meal. Brexit threat. What? Brexit threat to British fish and chips. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? <laughs> oh, because we don't have fish on our own coasts. Hmm. Yeah, we never had fish and potatoes before, then. No. Well, we're not Ireland. Fish. We're not Ireland. I mean, why the fuck <laughs> hell are we scared of it? This is a fucking vow. I this is a now. I'm part Irish. I can say what I want. <laughs> <laughs> no more chips for you guys. Britain could face a shortage of fish and chips, the national dish, if there is no deal for eggs, the EU officials warned yesterday. Because we never had fish and chips before we were in the EU at all. No? Yeah, we never grew our own potatoes or fish off our own shores. No, we've never done that, have we? Are you, are you mm -hmm. done, uh, having fish to trade? So does this mean that, you know, if, if you guys leave the EU and Ireland doesn't, Ireland will just be like, fuck off, no potatoes for you. <laughs> Essentially. No, really, people did. Oh, Logan. There'd be no potatoes for you. Yeah, no orange paint, that's all we had left. Burrito? Of course, we never had fish and chips before we went into the EU no, either, did we? No, no, no. That's only an EU creation. That never happened. We never had that. No. We never ever had fish and chips before the EU. Or Chris. <clears throat> Or indeed anything before the EU, we just all in the yeah. dark ages. Yeah, no orange paint. We're all living our little, little, our little um, caves, banging each other on the heads with our big clubs, which, <laughs> which yeah. come from China. I don't know, maybe in Wales and some parts of Scotland they do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do in Birmingham anyway. Hey, 
Yeah, I can't argue that. As things stand, EU votes will lose access to British waters and vice versa. If there is a no deal Brexit, so, yeah, it's wanting me to pay them money. I'm not going to pay them money. So, yeah, that's the, That's your Brexit scare story for today. Um, they just love scaring people to not leave, don't they? Yeah, yes, they do. that's what they're trying to do. They're, they're dragging their feet and coming up with all these stories just so we vote that stay. It's why they're doing it. Why they mentioned well, it in the first place, I don't know. It was just because I think it's because of the Queen mentioned it to uh, fucking Cook Flats. What was his name now? Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. And she wanted to leave the EU. And then that. Then somebody got hold of the story saying the Queen wanted to leave. Then uh, was it UKIP suggested the leave for you leaving um, the EU. No, well, UKIP done it, and then David Cameron was terrified that he would lose votes to UKIP. So he said, well, okay, what's going to happen is we're going to have an EU... If we get elected, we're going to have an EU referendum to try and get voters back. And they, then, can the, they can threaten the English with no potatoes to be severely divided up potatoes, though. Luckily, we're Scotland, has plenty of potatoes, so... Yeah. It's not like we can't grow... I mean, things like plants, we can fucking grow ourselves. We've lived off the lands before. We can fucking live off the lands again. Fuck them. We're going to live off our lands because your country's overpopulated. Mine isn't. <laughs> right, then I'm going to come to your country. Uh, you don't want to come here. <laughs> they always come to Scotland. <laughs> no, they always go to England. They always go to England. In a way, I'm thankful for that. Come yes, to too fucking cold and too rough. I always cooked up off your brains. Right, fish free. Hello, little nigga. Hello, little nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, little nigga. Family devastated after missing four hundred pound pig, slaughtered <laughs> by neighbour for meat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, princess, the pig was killed <laughs> by the neighbour who said he'd look after it as police went to look for the owner in Arcata, California. Ne never heard of it. Neither have I. Never heard of the pig either. Are we going to put yeah, the pig's black? The pig's black, so it's suppressed. That's even worse. Uh, well, the push after the pig, people. Got to push after the pig. Now that I know what that means. And it gives a new meaning to making bacon. <coughs> uh, family say they're devastated after the pet pig was slaughtered by a neighbor who promised the place he would look after it as they searched for its owner. The animal named Princess had wandered away from his pain at its home, at the home of its owner in California on March the 23rd. Who's stapling things? Who could have asked? <laughs> Ah, uh, Gertrude. Not poor Gertrude. Gertrude. Hello, Freedom. I just made up a name for the pig. Hey, Freedom. I'm not going to do the Freedom thing because it's too stereotypical. So. <laughs> freedom! My voice isn't high-pitched enough. Freedom! That's it. It's not like it's, it's, it's the way Garcia does it. I wonder if they roasted it whole or if they sliced it up and made some bacon strips. Can we roast that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's 400 pounds, so oh, it's a was lot of bacon and a lot of sausages as well, I'd imagine. When he was actually doing the slaughtering of it, did he, was he recorded as saying, come on, boy, squeal like a pig for me. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, I agree, Scotsman. The hulking 400 pound sow, which had no identifying tags, was found in a neighbor's garden a short distance away. No. Uh, whoever they, that, I think it's Brian, you Exactly. You, yeah, you robot through that, but yeah. He had promised to take care of the animal as officers in the Arcata Police Department tried to identify its owner. By the time the officer had returned, the optimistic neighbor had slaughtered Princess and cut him up and cut it off the meat. 
I'm As trying to get the cops will get a pig named Princess. Yeah. I mean, why have a pet pig if you're not going to eat it eventually? I, I still can't picture a pig named Princess. <laughs> I said Gertrude. No, yeah, no that is Gertrude. definitely a pig name. Gertrude. Or babe. Or babe, yeah. Hey, Logan, no. stop that. That'll yeah. do, Big. That'll do. Well, just, Rowan, simply, if you the will. just simply, just call him Chops. Yeah. Rowan, if you hailed the will, you'd recognize who Freedom is. Let's get all hail Blue Whale on the chat for Freedom, actually. Yeah. Yes, all hail Blue Whale, even That's though I'm not in the chat to say it. <laughs> um, I'm going to jump off because my food's ready. I'm going to go have okay. some burritos because they're good. <sighs> chops. Thanks for coming on the line, Press. No worries. I'll talk to you guys later. Later, okay. friends. Bye. Bye. <coughs> he promised to take care of that. See you, Press. Thank you for coming, hon. Yeah, by the time Thomas has returned, uh, our owner, Carrie Hogan, says he's very upset at the officers, the officers for leaving Princess alone. I think a two cow's name is a tie on Abbott. Oh, and that's because you're an all fright bastard, that's why. You live in Dundee, I don't think there's much you do get. <laughs> Princess is a very sweet pig who likes to be around other people. She said. I don't know, it had a little smoky taste to me. <laughs> yeah, she's probably in a bacon sandwich by now. Yeah. Oh, poor piggy. No, I hate pigs. I honestly hate pigs. That's not going to say press F because this this pig, this pig's a cunt. It's a pig. <laughs> it's for pigs. I have a bias. I hate pigs. I just like the idea of just being able to declare a pig a cunt. Yeah, it's a cunt. <laughs> poor thing ever done to you. Poor. It was born tasty. <laughs> well, I never tried to. I just saw it. I was like, nah. I'll probably try. I'll probably get it someday. Well, you never did, did you? Hogan said she was like part of the family and okay, formerly okay, remembered okay, okay. feeding it with a bottle when she was a piglet. No. He took it upon himself. Give the animal to give my animal away. Told the local coast outpost, the lost coast outpost, and then got butchered. She wants to prevent the unscrupulous man from meeting the pork meat as the four A's look to press charges against him. You kill my pig, eh? <laughs> you killed my pig. Eh? I think the hardest part of this is knowing that somebody out there, when I mean, there's somebody exactly. out there, this, this kind of savage Hogan said, "Well, I bet you still, I bet you, I bet you yourself still eats bacon. So therefore, hurts yourself to be a hypocrite." I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I killed your pig. Here's a ham. Oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, freedom. I know they do goats, but I don't know if they do pigs. Pig fucker. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that used to be a prime minister. <laughs> That's no joke, by the way. Yeah, he, um, he apparently stuck his dick in the mouth of a dead pig's head. Oh. Uh... And then he went to then he went to a vegan festival in Canada and ate it. No, he was so attached to his dick as he was like swinging it around. <laughs> I've done it. head of the porky. Imagine trying to get through customs with a dead pig's head on your cock. <laughs> well, as long as it's not in Israel, I think it should be funny. <laughs> but um, the, 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 the sort of the, the bottom line and the, the reason why I said apparently is it most likely actually didn't happen. It was um, some other. Some other politician had written 
something in a book, his memoirs, that kind of alluded to that, and it just got picked up and ran with. I'll be right back, guys. Buckles of Space is Fury of the Internet on Facebook. On Facebook of the Titanic community in foreign county. Some say he sold them much of the blame for the pigs killing. No, they weren't the ones that killed the pigs. So no, they don't. I was that sorry? For all there, too. I was going to say, they're going to blame meat eaters. People eat pigs so much that this guy was able to kill my pig. The meat eaters' fault. This this pig eating culture killed my pig. Yeah, freedom of you on about the you got about Omar, right? I Bacon culture. There's two of them. Yeah. There are actually two. There's Alien Omar, and then there's that one chick who said, uh, "We need to impeach the motherfucker." Oh yeah, the Palestine the movement. The motherfucker. Yeah. 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 It looks like dinner to me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Beauty and the Beast is the most dangerous Disney film, and a lot of his racist experts claim. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> Maybe to the British it's racist. I mean, they did make Jafar kind of Brit-like. No, they made him black. Not. Yeah, but obviously they've, they've never heard of Song of the South. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say they should. Re- I've seen Song of the South. Yeah, they should remake Song of the South. Because Song of the South actually got released over here. It didn't get released yeah. over there, did it? Uh, it? When it first came out, it was actually in the theaters, but then it was available on it. It was available on Laserdisc and VHS. It was never available on DVD. If I remember correctly. I think it got. I think it was on DVD over here. I remember. I think I, had, I think I only had it on video because I had a shitload of Disney videos when I was a kid. So yeah. Hmm. Freedom of for all says he still owns it. Beast is a furry. <sighs> Experts have claimed there are some serious issues with some of the older Disney classic <laughs> films, which could be very damaging to young children watching them today. Oh, oh God. God. so damaging! I watched most of them as a kid. None. Uh, Actually, can't think about it. Never mind. What was that about the um, they're, they're saying that it's, that it's dangerous and that Aladdin's racist. <laughs> oh no! There's always there's always kind of there's always very racist and stereotypical stuff in a lot of Disney movies. It'll take um uh what the hell was that um Lady and the Tramp? I mean, come on. The Scot- um, the dog with the Scottish accent, his name, John. Yeah, the cat as well, the cat. What about in Dumbo with the um, crows? Is that uh, <laughs> accent? I think it's in an open flag. I think the only traumatizing film is The Brave Little Coaster. I've heard about that, but I've never seen it. It's it's pretty damaging, man. That just scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. The Brave Little Toaster, fuck. And I think, I think Lion King traumatized game. me as a kid, though. Worst, mo- uh, worst movie game. ever to prove that guys do cry for movies? Oh, boy, Eller. <laughs> or Braveheart. I don't think that... Is that Rudy. a Disney movie? Rudy. No, this, no, Bra- anyway. no, no, Braveheart's not a Disney movie. I'm just saying men crying for film, Braveheart. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, it's old classics of the newest blog, but the Disney films have been a huge part of children's lives for generations. But according to some experts, some of the older films many of us grew up with could actually be extremely harmful to our little ones. Oh, oh. Get fucked. I take it you don't agree, Peter. Can we call how to change your dragon's vice racist for assuming <coughs> Vikings had Scottish accents? Even though it's clearly not true. Exactly, yeah, they were Scandinavian. Why would they have. They were fucking Scandinavian. Right, they talk like Rosie, damn it. Are you guys talking about how to train your dragon? Because that was one of the first things I noticed is that they all said it's Scottish. <laughs> I was like, wait, 
Vikings are all Scottish? Wait, what? Okay. Like, no, they're like... Yeah, Freedom says Old Yeller got me too, because he loves his pets. Mm-hmm. We had a dog named Yeller, so, you know, it didn't really bother me because it's a kid ass fool. It's a fucking stupid dog. And why did the kids have American accents? We don't start as Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think Rowan's been triggered now. <laughs> Rowan's always triggered. Probably because she's not his man with triggered. Although he lives in Dundee, so as I say, he could be a grandfather by now. He must be like, he must be a he must be a grandfather, a father, a fucking brother, a, a grandson, a daughter, a grandson, a son, and a brother as well. Like, <clears throat> welcome to Dundee. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but according to some according to experts some of the older films uh, I've already, already read that <clears throat> many many believe films such as Snow White Beauty and the Beast Snow White Sleeping Beauty and Lion King can remote unhealthy body image gold diggers and even racism and domestic abuse <laughs> according to Dr. Victoria Khan a humanities lecturer at the University of East Angela. Imagine my shock. Who in the Beast is by far the most dangerous Disney film. <clears throat> uh, does it hurt the women that the Beast is all beastly? You know, it, it, Green Thunder's got a point on something. If you think Disney's bad, you ought to see this. You ought to see the, the original stories that all these were based off of. Yeah, yeah. Take, yeah sleep, the take sleepy. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty. How was she woken up? Oh, yeah, she was raped. Uh, who speaks English? Freedom? You mean Scottish? I don't know. I appreciate, you have faith in, I appreciate your faith in me to pick up ladies, but I'm not that net. I'm rather net in that field. Yeah, I'm the same. He has to club them first and then drag them by their hair. Jesus Christ. Maybe you do, but I don't. <coughs> Maybe in Birmingham that's how it's done, but it's not done that way here. Really? <coughs> Just club them and bring them back. Aberdeen to the size. <laughs> Aberdeen size at least slightly more civilized. <clears throat> like I said, club them and drag them back to the cave. <sighs> she claims. She claims in the it's a case of Stockholm syndrome. Telling the son. This is the most dangerous because the beast always feels on the verge of violence. Well, wasn't that the point? The point was that she was supposed to tame him. Yeah. And then end up falling in love with him. Yep. Of, I, I mean, I haven't seen the film in years, but yeah. You know, the, actual mental, the actual story is like <clears throat> people are good on the inside and it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside kind of thing. That's just the basis of the story. Oh, and don't be was a it not, to an Was it not she was forced to live with a beast or something like that because of her dad? and that like, stole make him... a rose in the original. <clears throat> was it not because like he was going to kill her dad or something and so said, well, if you can tame me, then uh, I, I think that was what it was. I can't remember anyway, but yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, like it was also about don't be a fucking dick to an old lady. The thing is, the Aladdin's actually based in the, like, uh, oh, God, I forgot the country in the <coughs> space in right now. <coughs> but it's based on an old story. Why do people most, find an old story? Most racist? of the Disney films are like that. Most of the Disney yeah, films are like that. They're old stories. They're old stories from an old, long time ago. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Sleeping oh, Beauty and Snow White and stuff like that. They're all ancient, yeah. It gives an un the unnerving idea that a woman, if a woman perseveres long enough, she can change an angry partner. But that's what a lot of women want, isn't it? They want the bad guy that they contain. So you're just denying your own fucking biology there, aren't you? You know, if they watched the, if they ever read the original story of Cinderella, they'd fucking freak out. <laughs> The stepsisters chop their toes off and the back of their feet to fit in the shoe. Well, they the made... problem is, is that we're looking at this shit from an adult point of view. When you were a kid, were you thinking about the psychology behind all this shit? No. Uh, it was just a pretty princess and a beast, and it was just, you know, and colors was... and dancing and singing yeah. and shit as a kid. You're not yeah. going to love My freedom. My freedom. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. Freedom. Like, a kid's 
looking at the background history of what these sh this shit means. Kids don't fucking care. Looking at this from an adult, you're probably just like, this is questionable. But as a child, you're not thinking about it. No, well, that, it's probably more wrong, interested though. in the songs and dancing to the songs in the actual storyline. Even then, I still <laughs> think she's wrong, though. Yeah, well, I mean, it, like, children just don't look at this shit. They don't. You don't see no. it right, so just see a story. Exactly. <sighs> anyway. The story being told. At the end, the beast then turns into a blonde-haired white man for another happy ever after, giving the idea that he's good-looking and can possibly and can't possibly be angry or threatening. Well, that was the point. He was he was supposed to tame him. You fucking moron. <clears throat> Doctor can't alter his issues with. In the 1992 Aladdin movie is racist. Oh, please. Points out that all the good characters, including Aladdin, have pale skin. Well, apparently he's not white either. It's in the set in the fucking Middle East. None of them are white. So clearly you're making fucking bullshit. Well, and they really? also forget the point that Jafar was meant to be like this super white, creepy British guy, but they don't point that out. The villain no, is like this creepy Brit guy. Exactly, yeah. He's an Arab. Yeah. He's, a, he's an Arab. He's not white. None of them are white. It just wasn't <clears throat> dark enough, of course. Well, the bodies have darker skin. Well, again, does it matter? No. Yeah, arms code is very um, deceptive and misleading. There's uh, the picture is misleading. He was supposed to look cute. Well, I think I think that one particular picture they used wasn't like that the brightest, like the brightest light throughout, the, which was supposed <clears throat> to be throughout the whole movie. Mm -hmm. Okay, why is my Chromecast trying to boot up right now? Seriously, <laughs> neither do I, but it really needs to not. Like even the... <laughs> she said the same approach is used in the Lion King with Scar being much darker than the rest of the others. Fuck off, man, really. Is but he has far? a British fucking accent. Yeah. Hey, fucking what do you want to be? He has a British fucking accent. I fucking hate these kinds of people. It's fucking retarded. Uh huh. I just hate most people. Yeah. <clears throat> we hate you too, Scott. Man. Well, actually, the thing is, it wasn't that another SJW. W argument put out at one point. Why are why do all bad guys in movies have British accents? No, they never pointed that out. Because that would mean that we were criticizing the white folks and we like white no. folks to be bad people. No, at, at one point they were talking about uh why are all the British people in American movies the bad guys? <laughs> or maybe just because they're British. Hey. Well, guys have to be smart, that's why. Yeah, it makes sense. <sighs> that would explain Stewie. And then I, another <laughs> expert, Dr. Laura Covey Glover, a fucking double bottle name is imagine my shock. <laughs> From Nottingham Trent University, believes Snow White creates unrealistic expectations of young girls. <clears throat> it was made in the 19 fucking 20s. That's how girls used to be like. It's been the 30s. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. 30s. Well, it was a Snow, long time ago. Snow White had unrealistic expectations. So there's a lot of chicks nowadays fucking seven dudes at once. Well, not only that, but <laughs> Snow White was supposed to be the prettiest ever. That's It was an unrealistic expectation beginning because she was supposed to be the oh, prettiest ever. Oh, well, the premise of that was she was supposed to be the most beautiful thing in the world, which is automatically unrealistic no matter how you draw her anyways. Hey, Rowan. Why, no, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. And the reason why she was the most beautiful thing ever is because a fairy made her that way. It was one of their little presents. You're going to be the prettiest fucking thing ever. And so even though it's an unrealistic expectation... That's sleeping witch. That's sleeping beauty, sweetie. Huh? That, was, that was Sleeping Beauty. Oh. Oh, fuck, whatever. I don't fucking care anymore. Yeah. <laughs> says the film portrays women as helpless characters who just wait around for a man to come and sleep them off their feet. Well, she was poisoned. That's why she was helpless. She was fucking poisoned. 
again, it was in, at the time it was made. That's how women, you know, that's how women were looked at. It's a yeah, long she was also time poisoned ago. as well. So of course, she'd be helpless. Yeah. She was poisoned. And yeah. wait a minute, isn't that an intersectional marriage? Because the guy's darker than she is. Yeah. See. Uh, or at least he has red. I actually, I think he has red skin. So therefore, there he's, he's a Native American or Canadian, yeah, whatever. The so therefore, intersectionality points. <laughs> well, I think I think as far as Sleeping Beauty goes, the whole the reason she's white she's white as a sheet of paper. There's the fact that bitch has been sleeping her whole damn life. I mean, what sun? The thing yeah, is, if these she's... people really want to take offense, they should read the original sorts of stories. They read, read the original stories of how it, like you know, they wouldn't fucking moan so much about Disney. They won't read them, they will. They'll, they'll, they'll then complain about the original stories. But they're not. I, I wonder if they'll rip on Pucahontas next. Pucahontas. <laughs> what, yeah. the anorexic Native American? Yeah. I got my own problem with Pocahontas, considering during that whole time she was like 13. That's the original story. Oh, actually, based on truth as well. Yeah, Pocahontas was true, but yeah. <laughs> I just know why they talk about the issues of consent in both films, the women being kissed by the man. But by the man when she's still asleep, well, wasn't that the point? The kiss made them better, was it not? Disney logic. Actually, you, know, to... you know, I think I think these bitches are jealous because they can't get laid. <laughs> well, go back, go back to Green, uh, go back to Green Thunder's point. In the original story, it wasn't a kiss that woke her up. <laughs> it was a little bit of a prick. Mm -hmm. Not on a finger. 10% of people little... are fucking retarded, clearly. 10% <laughs> of people voted for no that yes, they should be banned. <sighs> Dr. Khan says it normalizes men's sense of entitlement towards women's bodies. I but the fucking point was she's... you kissed them and then the curse was gone. It's fucking Disney logic. It's not fucking real life, you stupid cunt. I'm well, sure a bit. She's divorced and she's got a ton of cats and no kids. <sighs> no, she was never married to begin with. That's what it would have been. Oh, then she's got a ton of cats. All right. Um. By the way, off 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 topic for a second. Crappy Slayer, if you're on the stream, how far is the backup? However, the experts praise the most recent films, such as Frozen, which is much more modern themes, including friendship, loyalty, and feminism. Was well, obviously it's a fucking more modern film, therefore it would be more modern, wouldn't it? You stupid fuck. Anyway, uh, Did you hear that? I think I didn't have a piss, actually. Get it back. <laughs> it's getting as bad as you, Peter. <laughs> Hello? Well, I may as well say, I'm just going to leave dead air in my stream. Oh, Hello. hi. Single digits. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now I'm trying to grow a channel here. Anyway. I thought that I was going for a piece of. Anyway. <laughs> I bet. Make your robot in badly. To you. Make your robot in. They were entitled to a man's body. Rain your boat. Shut up calling me a bitch. You I can't. want your robot. You me robot. No, rain your boat. I wonder what you're, I'm saying you're roboting. I'm saying you're roboting. I think it might have been me. Anyway, to the, at this point, I'm just going to read stories from my own amusement. <sighs> Scottish boy gives Pope Francis a Sally Club in Vatican City. Okay. <clears throat> Imagine my fucking joke. Do what now? Pope Skillboy Seven gives Pope Francis a selling top in Vatican City. Okay. 
a little bit of context on this. <clears throat> now, this is blatantly biased because I'm a Rangers fan and Celica are Rangers' main rivals, but <clears throat> this is a club known for its uh, other beauties over the years. I'll say that. Fuck Charles. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, my son just left a random wayward bowl of Lucky Charms in the middle of the floor, and I just stepped on them. Ew. <laughs> was the milk in it? No, thank God. It was just fucking charms. But now they're in between my toes of funky ass charms. <laughs> Fuck children. God damn it. Late term abortion. Hey, anyway, I need a piss. Do I have a piss? Fucking cunty ass charms. Rowan, I did see what you said earlier. I uh, fucking eat cereal. <sighs> I just didn't want to uh ah, interrupt the chat. Ah, this, well this is going to shit faster than usual. Ah, fucking Lego. Jesus Christ. Okay, so do 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 no copyright Don't have kids Don't plan to God damn it Lego on top of that shit man just god damn it Swear to god next I'm gonna run into a goddamn marble So, chat, how's it going? Let's see what the chat's going on here. Let's see. Let's see what the chat for Scotty. Get the blind girl to do it. Why the hell not? Wait, where's the stream? Where is it? Wait, there it is. Okay. Yes, it All did right. die very fast, really. Yeah, yeah, you know. Well, I mean, he just peeing like a racehorse, you know? Just, you gotta get those fluids out, you know? Better out than in. Yeah, he's peeing like a, like a pizza. Yeah, there we go. Now we got some blind person bitching about her kids. You will. I fucking stepped in cunty ass charms and a piece of shit nigger Lego. Like, fuck. <laughs> it's a foul. Well, I don't know what happened there, but I'm back now. Uh, well, come back. Uh, what Hello, happened back, was back black Lego the steam. charms. Thanks for carrying the steam. Yeah, no problem. I was trying to, Scotsman, but for some reason, my Hangout had just stopped working. And yeah, has I wonder been, where the fuck you disappeared to. Has been for the last 10 minutes. I've been sat here talking to you. I've been stepping on shit and just cussing out my kid. Yeah, I know. It was... Right. I was trying to speak before. Now, Britt was talking over me, and I thought, right, okay, well, that's just normal anyway. <laughs> it was when Blind Girl was talking over me that I thought, no, hang on, something's wrong here. <laughs> He yeah. hasn't got a strong bladder yet. He needs to drink more special beer or Kessel. See where the strength in it. Well, that's as well as when the seal breaks. Yeah, don't have kids, Gatsman. Just don't have kids. I don't plan on having kids. I just, I'm just saying that's as well as when the seal breaks. Ugh. Don't hate on the Lego, says <sighs> Holy shit, thoughts. What the hell? If you guys could see my place after my kid leaves, you'd kill yourself, seriously. Oh, fucking hell, that was thinking. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I'm all the way down here. You shouldn't be, but we smell like that all the time. <laughs> Living Birmingham after all. Uh, well, not quite Birmingham, but close enough to Birmingham. Quite true. <laughs> yeah, breaking the seals like Making the sales like crossing the streams, don't do it. Speaking of crossing the streams, don't forget on Tuesday on Twitch. It's not chilling time, you know. Let me get stem. Oh shit, I got a donation. Woo! Oh shit. Yay! I think he's gone now, but anyway, yeah. Uh... I think he's gone. See, this is the thing. If, if you don't know to me on stream last, can you please tell me in the chat? Because 
half the time I forget to have the alert box. Put up, so who, was yeah. it? who was it? It was Alamo. Huh. It was who? Alamo. Who? Alamo. No. I'm going to fuck off. No. Wrong stream. <laughs> Here's a fiver, but I don't think it'll be in five pounds or whatever you have it there. Shregs it, anyone? Yeah, hopefully, fright power. Thank you very much, Alamo. With the five dollars. <laughs> and fright power, and all hail blue whale. All hail blue whale. Let's see all hail blue whale in the chat. Yes. All hail Joe Pesci. I'm going to have to thank him on a stream next I'm going to have to thank him on his, own stream, on his next stream then. Because now he streams Fortnite. He's literally the only Fortnite streamer I want. Hail Blue Whale. Do, 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 I was do, just do. yeah, I was just about to say the only problem is, Scotsman, it would involve you watching a Fortnite stream. <laughs> yeah, he's the only Fortnite streamer that I watch. Because Whale Gun. That's why. We'll hail the whale. That's why. Cat agrees. <laughs> so therefore, we all support each other when it comes to our streams. I'll hail Joe Pesci. <laughs> they actually had a Joe Pesci date at some point, actually. I think they did. Fish are friends, not <clears throat> food. God damn it, noodles. Get on the fork. Eat it with a spoon. be easier. Uh, not, for noodles. not for noodles. No, I, I, I eat noodles with a spoon. Oh, shit. What was that? Nah, I just switched something on on my tablet and forgot I've still got it connected to a Bluetooth speaker. Was that uh, Brothers in Arms? No. Uh, that's my favorite. I like that song. It is a good song, though. Om um, nom nom nom. No, no. Fucking hell. Uh, mm -hmm. Honeymoon, so that was me rolling a fag. Yes, the fact that I had to roll you, Dennis. It was me rolling one. <laughs> Pakistani woman says husband beat her, shaved her head after she refused to dance for him. Because they're very regressive people, aren't they? His religion must never, ever, ever be questioned. Oh, gas again, I guess. Mm. Guys, click the like button, share, and subscribe. Yeah, I gave this up there. Yeah, nice. I'm on eight, you know. Yeah. Hey, if I could find a woman came forward, what are going to say? Thing is, this happens quite a lot within the Pakistani marriage. Um, the women get beaten, or sometimes they get killed. That was a lot in the Middle East. That was a lot in the Middle East. Oh, yeah, but they do do it here. Parts of Asia in general. Yeah, but some of them do it as well. At least you didn't get stoned. Mm. Yeah, I don't think there's enough weed. Bad joke. Right, I'm Bad just going to go Bloodwing. Don't get stoned. <laughs> if it is a Scotsman, it's pink now. What? Well, I've broken my seal. I don't know what his excuse is. Are we gonna go ten minutes? Are, are we gonna go ten minutes in the stream without somebody going to pee? Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I've started drinking. It's just kind of a mistake, but fuck it, I don't care. Anymore. I didn't go to pee. I made ramen noodles. <clears throat> yeah, it's bad days when the other when the other people pee more than the diabetics do. Yeah, pretty much. Uh huh. Hey, Pakistani women came forward. Accusing her husband of beating her and shaving her head off after she was refused to dance for her. him and his friends. <clears throat> if you had me, and then I'll go in ten. What do you want to like do your own? Fine, fuck it, I don't care anymore. She's gonna end soon anyway, and then after that we're just gonna send you all cons she's gonna send you cons over to blind girls stream, so <laughs> Even though looking at the chat, most of these people are in Blind Girls chat anyway. Apart from Honey Monster. Yeah, it's because I'm awesome. 
Yeah, I think I like stole half your subs. Yeah. Matter of fact, just because I like to exert my dominance, everybody say I'm awesome in the chat. Scotty stream, but I'm awesome. Dominant woman on display. I'm putting my nutsack on the table. Okay then. <laughs> You're putting those nice hot She's roasted woman here of her. right on the table. And Pumpkin Trucker says he's awesome. Ugh. Oh, hey, Rowan. <sighs> You're very quiet again, Rowan, but I suppose that's kind of your... Wow. You're, you're quiet. Not really, but... <laughs> Hello, Rowan. See, Tom says I'm awesome, see? There you go, Lee Blanco. I think you're losing this one. Sounds like a chance, man. Do you mean... Honey Monster, do you mean uh, blind girl? Yeah. Uh. You know the main thing about those Pakistani laws also is like if she did dance for his friends and they were attracted to her, technically she could be stoned to death for being unfaithful to her husband by being looked at or lusted by another another man. So if she had yeah. done it, she would have committed a crime. And if she didn't do it, she wouldn't be beat by her husband. Hmm. And where the fuck are the feminists complaining about this? Where are the feminists complaining about this? They can't. They like Islam. They gotta romanticize about it, you know. The thing <laughs> is, I don't realize it's women in Islam that actually need feminism, and yet they're they're, yeah. they're, they're basically spreading their weight because what they they think they're important. Well, because you know the hijab is empowering. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it was a symbol of oppression in the Middle East. Also, I'm sitting on the boxes. I'm never gonna say that about a Canadian. I think you should de wrench him. Uh, oh, no, I should de wrench him because apparently I have the power to de wrench people. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do on your own streams, yes. Just not yeah, well, I'm not going to because it's the wrench no state. Wrench no state. Everyone here has a wrench. You get a wrench, and you get a wrench, and you get a wrench. Anyway, fuck Pakistan. Okay, fuck off, <laughs> Oprah Gamer Girl. Um, I was going to say, I have never been so glad to hear someone roboting and cutting out before. <laughs> wow. Because oh, I'm a shitty meme. <laughs> you really should have done this when. Uh, skin, right? Shut the fuck up. I probably should have done this when. Uh, when the. The likes of uh, and Freedom and Alamo and all that kind of people are here, but fossil of ancient four legged whale found in Peru. Okay. It doesn't look like a whale, it looks like a dinosaur that can swim. That's what it looks like. Looks like something you'd see it, on the sci fi channel. It looks like a shark NATO. It looks like a beaver, <laughs> a huge beaver. Oh, yeah, it's got like a dinosaur face, yeah. though, doesn't it? Maybe it's a prehistoric platypus. Oh. Well, niggas back. No, that's a fucking whale. Fucking gone. But you know, you should be working the fields. Yeah. Yeah. Fast in there, spawn is not working the fields. Thing. Hey, spawn is a hey, spawn is a fixed thing. A wrench, you can adjust it. There you go. The fossil, the forty-three-year-old, forty-three million-year-old whale was with four legs, web feet, and hooves has been discovered in Peru. Yeah, it's a prehistoric platypus. Fuck it. A word I cannot pronounce. Believe. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, hey. Four meters long was adapted to swim and walk on land. Did it have a blowhole? How did I get that from from that to a fucking whale? I mean, that that can't be a fucking whale. Yeah, like, it looks nothing like a whale. Like I said, it does. It doesn't. I don't know. Maybe you got a crocodile from that because it kind of looks like a crocodile, but yeah. It's basically it's a crocodile that can swim at one point. That's what it is, basically. It's a crocodile that lived underwater. It's like it's like Where the fuck did they get a whale? It's like if a crocodile somehow managed to freeway fuck a seal and the fucking plop at the same time. That's what it looks like. You know, with all these new fossils of these new breeds and all that being found, you know, they joke about how we ought to do this, you know. Got to do this and that to make the archaeologists in the future dig up stuff and say, <clears throat> "Really?" <laughs> I'm wondering if that's what they're. I'm. I'm starting to wonder if that's what they did to us back then. 
Yeah, maybe. So anyway, it's question shilling time. You know, so. Some jackass is going to sit there and say, hey, maybe you ought to make him think whales had legs. Whales have never had legs. <clears throat> anyway, Brett, chill. Okay, so I play games on Twitch and YouTube. My dis the description below is the um, channels and stuff, and uh, click them and say hello, and yay. <laughs> Yeah. I haven't had her over too much. You're hanging around too much? Self promotion, aren't you? <laughs> Brian Girl, I've been hanging around Brian Girl too much. <laughs> Brian Brian Girl, but you were like this before. No, I wasn't. Shh. You were. No, you were like this before we met Brian Girl, so yeah. You were. <laughs> William oh, Dax. Okay. Just blame Dax. It's so much easier just to blame no, Dax. Dax has, Dax has your legs, Penny. That's okay, I'll blame Dax. Dax, it's all your fucking fault. <laughs> Eat no, Dax gave me a wrench on his channel. Yes, he likes me. Yeah, Dax, I think, likes me too. He sent me to Peter. Wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he didn't send me to Peter, then we wouldn't yeah, be friends but... with you. But I thought you wouldn't have us as friends, though, would you? Yeah. True. Yeah. I'm seeing more benefits here. If it wasn't, yeah, if it wasn't for Dax, we would have never have met. Again, True. I would have never met any of you. I would have just kept saying hi to Scotty randomly in GPP and just went on my merry way alone and sad eating ramen. <laughs> no, I think yeah. I watched your team once before you before I met you. That was about it. Yeah, I think I said hi to you a couple of times in GPP randomly. Speaking of, I see this guy everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and then I met Pete. He's like, yeah, my girlfriend's Brick Gamer Girl. And I'm like, I've heard that name a few times in GPP. Well, that's who it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, the the little niggas in the. Velocity? Oh, mm -hmm. Can't speak. He went with the philosophy of any horse goal in Fembrit. <laughs> Fuck you, you little freak! <laughs> you damn virgin! <laughs> <laughs> Go in your corner and Look. cry. <laughs> Rowan, Rowan, it's not often you come out with a good one. Yeah, and then Dax was like, "Okay, I'll get Peter to help you." Just uh, join him in a hangout, and then my next question was, what's a hangout? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this change is for them, did you not, though? No. So you did. Well, I, I did streams, but I didn't know it was with hangouts, because I can't read anything. And I did, like, three streams where there was one person in the chat, and it was my mom. Oof. I think I was in the chat once, I think. Yeah, it was It was a pretty sad day for me. So what, what you're trying to say, blind girl, is I built you. Yep. Oh, wow. I was your first guess, if anything, I did. True. <laughs> yeah, and then the day that my equipment failed, I'm like, fuck it, I give up. And you guys were like, no, black girl, you're so awesome. But I was like, oh. I, I, I remember watching that, that stream the night after I'd helped you, and you were having all those tech issues. I was watching it like a hawk, going, God, I hope this isn't anything I've told her to do. <laughs> 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 I spent all fucking day practicing too, and I'm like, okay, I've got this. And then I start streaming it all. Back. And I'm like, it, 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 it got to a point where I just went, oh, thank fuck, it's just a shit microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Those yeah, hello again, Crabby Slayer. Yeah, so hello on again, that note, Slayer. Like, fuck, come see me. Yeah, Crabby yeah, Slayer, left fucking... lane is open. Yeah, pumpkin Joker, chill. Uh, I'm gonna check almost daily live dash cam, or almost daily live dash cams whenever I'm going. Uh, <laughs> usually go up to Philly, but tomorrow I'm going to Annapolis, Maryland. Perfect. Please Ooh. fucking kill me. So remember, it's pumpkin uh, trucker almost live daily dash cams. Uh, any questions? <laughs> any questions from the chat as well? Um, hang on, I've not shilled. You did say little. Uh, I didn't. I yes, say, yes, you did, Peter. Well, y'all need to do some uh, shilling a little bit harder. Little niggas look uh, showing us all up on the shilling game. Look at the chat. Yeah, he already dropped his like. <laughs> yeah, little nigga, I'm already sub to you. Yeah, so am I. Uh, As am I. Uh, am I sub? Oh, uh, well, um, yeah. I will be streaming tomorrow. I am feeling a lot better. Um, apologies to anyone who was expecting me to stream today, but I, I genuinely, I felt like shit earlier. Um, but I will be streaming tomorrow and I will have a new video out on Monday. I don't think I've heard Will Nigger's voice, so I wouldn't know if I even sound like a Scottish Will Nigger. 
He does sound Scottish, but look, I know what looking like a Scottish. Yeah. He's, he's been on blind press. He's been on blind girl scene before. Because I always watch those. Well, you should always watch those, you heathen. They're fucking midnight. I got sleep to have. <coughs> sleep is for the week. That's what cunts say. Yeah, I am a cunt. Well done. I know. Took you that long to work that one out. <sighs> okay, that's what retards and insomniacs have to say to try and justify whether they're up on night like, every night. I can't help the fact that they don't sleep at a normal time. Yes, you can! But I'm sleeping at a normal time. Yeah! <laughs> sure, I don't see. Uh, in uh, 14 minutes, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's blind trucking. Been, uh... Has it been uh, scheduled yet? I don't see it. It's probably because she hasn't made it yet. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I usually like, send the link over. Yeah, I, I I gotta go make that. Yeah, I'll make it and then I'll send people over then. Fuck. Okay. You mean you're gonna send people that are already gonna be there over there? Yeah, over. they're already. Yeah, don't bother waiting for the link. It's gonna take me a few minutes to do this shit. Yeah, anyway, like, share, sub. Thank you, Alma, for the donation. Uh, that's Don't piss on the Sarah curtain and fuck you all, you bunch of cunts. I'm going to get it. Uh, if I'm bye, available, guys. I'll try and join the hangout. Yeah, right. Bye.